I'm Robbie Carmen, and today I want to show you a feature of Final Cut Pro 7 that lets us import red footage as red native QuickTimes. Let me show you what I mean. Here in Final Cut Pro, I'm going to come up to the File menu and then down to the Log and Transfer command. I can also use the keyboard shortcut Shift Command 8. So let me go ahead and choose Log and Transfer. And in a second, the Log and Transfer window will pop up. And in just another moment, the red media that I have attached to my system will mount here in the browse area of the login transfer window. And this is actually an important note. To be able to access any red media that you've attached to your system, you first need to go to red.com support and download the Final Cut Studio plugin. OK, so you can see I have a number of clips here in the browse area of the login transfer window. Now, I need to tell Final Cut Pro how I want to transfer this footage. And the way that I do that is by coming up to this little menu, the one that looks like a little cog, and clicking on it. I'm then going to come down to Preferences. This will allow me to adjust my login transfer preferences. So I'll click Preferences. And let me stretch this window out to make it a little bit bigger. And you'll notice right here, I have an option for the red Final Cut Pro login transfer plugin. And currently, if I was to transfer the footage from this media, I'd be capturing it using the Apple ProRes 4x4 codec. And I can change this. By clicking on the name, I can choose any of the ProRes codecs, including the new LT and Proxy codecs, but I can also choose Native. When I choose Native, what I'll be doing is ingesting the red footage as red QuickTime media. Why would I want to do this? Well, the main advantage of ingesting red files as Native is that when you get to color for color correction and grading, you'll be able to access the red raw data that's native or embedded in that file. The other advantage of choosing native here is that it's the only way to truly work with 4K red files when you get to color. So I'm going to choose native, and then I'll click OK. I'm going to select a file here in my browse area, and I'll just mark an in point and an out point here on the clip so it transfers a little faster. And then I'm going to click Add Clip to Queue. And the clip will transfer. And let me go ahead and close the Log and Transfer window. And here in my browser, if I click on the clip and right click on it and choose Item Properties and Format, you can see that this clip has a frame rate of 23.98. It's a 2K file. In other words, it's 2048 by 1024, and it uses the Red Code Compressor. OK. Let me just edit this clip into a sequence real quick. Here it is. I'll click Yes to change my sequence settings. And as I mentioned, the real advantage of capturing something or ingesting red footage as native is that when you get to color, you have access to the red tab, or in other words, red, red raw processing in color. So I'm going to select this sequence and choose File, and then come down to Send To and choose Color. And I'm fine with the default naming. I'll click OK. And color will open. And here we are now in color. Now, if I click over to the primary in room, you'll notice here on the right hand side of the primary in room, I have a tab that's called red. And this tab will only appear if you've downloaded the Final Cut Studio plugin from red.com slash support. And here on the red tab, I can essentially do raw processing, things like saturation, tint, exposure, so on and so forth. So you can see it's pretty easy to ingest red media as red native QuickTimes. And again, the advantage of ingesting red media as red native QuickTimes is that you get access to the red raw data when you get to color. Also, if you're working with 4K files, this is the only way to truly be able to work with 4K media inside of color.